I'm Dr. Catherine and today we're going to be talking about excessive paw licking. So what to do if your dog is constantly licking their paws. If you're anything like me, you find the sound of them constantly licking day and night, lick, 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 so annoying. We're going to quickly discuss why dogs will lick their paws a lot and also of course what to do about it. So firstly, if your dog is only occasionally licking their paws, I'm talking a couple of times a week say, don't worry about it, it's likely just them grooming, nothing to worry about. But when I say excessively licking their paws, you'll know what I mean if you have a dog that does this, they're just constantly licking their paws day, night, doesn't matter. Sometimes it's a seasonal thing, often you'll notice that their paws or between their toes are the skin is really red or wet, you might even see some open wounds. For dogs with white fur, often that fur is stained, so it's a nice brown colour from the saliva, from them licking it so much. So the most common reasons why dogs lick their paws a lot is either behavioural, so they might be really bored, say if they're at home alone all day, they're just so bored that they're kind of licking themselves to entertain, um, to, to pass the time, or alternatively they might be really stressed, so anxiety can cause excessive paw licking. And the other really common reason why dogs lick their paws a lot is allergies, so either allergy to fleas, allergy to something they're eating, or an allergy to something in the environment, what we call atopy. I'll include here a link to some of the videos I've made on dog allergies and also what to do about fleas, so you can check those out. But let's discuss what to do if your dog is excessively licking their paws, both what you can do at home and what you should be doing to address the issue in, over the long term. So I will strongly recommend seeing a vet if you are having an issue with your dog licking their paws a lot. The reason being is that both behavioural issues and allergy issues are not going to go away by themselves and unfortunately very unlikely to go away with anything that you yourself can be doing at home. If you're not able to go into a vet straight away, you probably want some ideas for what you can do at home to provide your dog with some relief. If your dog has any raw open wounds, please don't do anything without consulting a veterinarian. We don't want to create any more problems for that skin. We also do definitely don't want to add anything um, to that wound that's going to cause them any pain. So chat to your vet if you're noticing any open wounds around the paw. But if you're just noticing that the dog's skin is really red um, and just looks irritated, no wounds, but just looks red, or if you, there's a lot of um, fur staining from the saliva, what you can do at home is use an Epsom salt bath. So go to your local Walgreens or supermarket, pick up some Epsom salts that you might may yourself use um, in baths. And what you want to do is fill a tub, either a bathtub or an, a bucket that you know your dog's going to be able to fit in. Fill it with water a couple few inches high, just enough to cover their feet warm water and then you want to dissolve say half a cup, one cup of Epsom salts, just enough so that it um, dissolves into the, the water and then soak your dog's paws for a good 10 to 15 minutes and that will provide a lot of nice soothing relief for the skin and reduce um, their uh, desire to lick um, quite as much, at least over the short term. If though you have a dog like my lovely Delilah, who will not tolerate hanging out in a bath for that long, the next best thing you could do is still get that Epsom salt solution, so you know, fill a small tub with some warm water and Epsom salts, and then just put a washcloth in and use that washcloth to kind of dab between your dog's paws, or if they'll tolerate it, um, place the cloth between your dog's paws or around where that irritated skin is. That's not quite as good as a long soak, but it will help to um, provide some soothing relief, um, at least for the short term. You'll probably find a lot of other recommendations on the internet, some quick fixes for how to stop your dog from licking their feet a lot. I'm sorry to say, there is no quick fix for this that you can do at home. A lot of people are recommending apple cider vinegar these days, it's a really great product for a lot of other things. It does have antibacterial agents, anti-yeast agents which can help um, address some of the issues but please don't use that until you chat to your veterinarian. Apple cider vinegar can really sting wounds so I don't want you applying that um, without uh, the confidence that it's not going to cause any pain for your dog. Epsom salts, similarly don't use it on open wounds but it's not going to be quite as um, stingy. So there we have it, we've discussed the most common reasons why dogs lick their feet a lot and also what to do about it. If you have any questions please pop them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to my channel, I upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.